Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, Topic 7.7 .7 on Acid Rain. Okay, so for Acid Rain, remember we mentioned we've talked about sources of air pollutants, um, we've talked about the different things that end up up in the atmosphere, right? Excuse me, the sulfur dioxides, right, the NOx chemicals. Um, and so what happens with those is these become, those are primary pollutants, and those end up mixing with uh, water in the atmosphere, and that ends up forming acid rain. So you know, your sources can be your NOx chemicals, like things we've mentioned before, motor vehicles, burning uh, power plants, and also your SOx chemicals as well. So those end up mixing and forming things like nitric acid and sulfuric acid, um, very similar to that up there. And those will end up falling down in slightly lower pH of uh, uh, acid rain, acid snow, things like that. And so if you take a look, this is a big problem because some organisms can't handle lower pHs. Um, if you see here, these organisms may have different pHs that are critical for their uh, for their life and survival, and especially the ones that are most important are going to be those that are aquatic. So when that rain drops um, and falls down into the water, that's going to lower that pH. And so things like snails, clams, crayfish, uh, mayflies, trout, and then of course your amphibians like salamanders, they're going to be in critical condition because of those as well. So um, very important to... Uh, pay attention to what happens with acid deposition. And then, of course, um, the best way to handle this, so there have been several FRQs in the past on how can you mitigate acid rain or acid deposition, and the best way is to use limestone, right? When you have limestone, you can neutralize this, and it can be in the bedrock of different regions that can aid this, um, this problem, or addition of limestone as well. So that could be a good solution to think about when answering questions like that, because it has shown up in the past. So here's some other resources that you can use. Um, hopefully these will be helpful and hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.